let's get the five solutions of x five of them okay welcome to my channel let's go ahead and solve this interesting math olympiad question okay let's start um i'm sorry i'm very dull i'm actually not feeling fine but nevertheless we move all right so we are asked to solve for the value of x we have five values so we are told that x to the power of six is equal to x minus one to the power of six let's transfer this to this side we have x to the power of six minus what x minus one to the power of six is equal to zero now this can be written as x raised to the power of three multiplied by two right minus this can be written as x minus 1 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 as well is equal to 0. Now, recall this law of indices that states that a to the power of m uh, multiplied by n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay? So that means we can actually bring one of them inside the bracket and the other one becomes the power, right? So that means we can write this as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus this can be written as x minus 1 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so what we have now is difference of two squares. Yes, um, difference of two squares in algebra, that is a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Now, in this case, our a is equal to x to the power of 3, right? While our b is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 3. x minus 1 raised to the power of 3. Okay? All right. So if we should substitute these values into what we have, that means you are going to have x minus this, right? That is, you are going to have x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3. Okay? multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 to the power of 3. Okay, is equal to 0. So we can express this to be equal to 0 and this to be equal to 0 as well, right? So we have x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3, okay? Is equal to 0 or x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, let's concentrate on the left-hand side. This is same thing as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, right? Where our a is x and our b is x minus 1. Okay, now this identity states that this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus a b, okay? So that is it for this particular identity. So if we should expand what we have here in this form, we have, remember we are solving for this, we are going to have A minus B, that is X minus X minus 1, right? So we are going to have X minus X minus 1. Okay. Um, then we are going to multiply it by A squared, that is X squared, plus B squared, that is x minus 1 squared plus ab that is x multiplied by x minus 1 okay perfect is equal to what 0 now we solve this will give us x minus minus times x will give us minus x minus times minus 1 will give us plus 1 okay now this is same thing as what x squared plus now x minus 1 squared is same thing as a minus b squared right which is same thing as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab okay it does that in this case our a is x and our b is 1 all right so if we should expand this then we are going to have x squared plus 1 minus 2x right all right that is it for this particular one. Then plus x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. Okay, is equal to 0. Then we continue. We continue. But if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please hit the subscription button and all your notification bell, please. So that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. 
So we have x minus x is zero. So we have only one here. So one is going to multiply x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared plus another x squared will give us 3x squared. Okay, then we have minus 2x minus x will give us minus 3x plus 1, okay, is equal to 0. So this multiplied by this will give you the same thing. So we have 3x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. All right, now we can actually solve this using what the quadratic equation formula now the quadratic equation formula states that this x okay is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay but in this case in this case our uh, a is equal to coefficient of x squared which is 3 uh, B is equal to coefficient of X, which is minus 3, and our C is equal to 1. So if we should substitute this into this, we are going to have that X is equal to minus B, that is minus minus 3, which will give us 3, plus or minus square root of B squared, that is minus 3 squared, which is 9, then minus 4AC, that is 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12, multiplied by 1, which is still 12. Okay, divided by 2a, that is 2 times what? 2 times 3, which is 6. So we have that x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of what? Minus 3 divided by 6. Okay, so we have um, this as our x. Now let's continue. Let's continue. So if we look at this, we can actually still simplify this further, right? So we are going to have that x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 3 times minus 1, right? This is multiplication. 3 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 6. So our x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 3i. Because square root of minus 1 is i, right? Divided by 6. So we now have two values of our x3 plus or the first value should be x is equal to 3 plus what? Root 3i divided by 6, which is same as 3 over 6 plus root 3i over 6. Okay? So if we solve this first one for that, we are going to get what? 1 over 2 plus root 3i over 6. So that means this is the x1. Now x2, okay? Remember that we are looking for five values of x. Now that means the x2 will be equal to 1 over 2 since it's the same thing here, right? So it's going to boil down to 1 over 2. The only difference is that it's going to have negative. So minus root 3i over 6. Perfect. So we have the value for our x1 and x2. Now, recall that this is just the first case. All we've been solving is this. Where x to the power of 3 minus x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. So the second case is that this is equal to 0. Okay? So let's go ahead and solve that. So for the second case, for the second case, we have that x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Okay, now we have what? This is same thing as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 0. If you expand this, okay, if you expand this, this is same thing as a plus b, okay, multiplied by a squared plus b squared minus ab. Okay, so this is the algebra identity for this. So in this case, our a, our a is equal to x. And our b is equal to x minus 1, okay? So if we should substitute this into what we have here, it's going to be, we are going to have a plus b, right? That is x plus x minus 1, right? Since it's plus, let me not put this in brackets. Multiplied by a squared, that is x squared, plus b squared, that is x minus 1 squared, minus a b that is minus x multiplied by x minus one okay so that is it that is it 
So we are going to have x plus x, which will give us 2x minus 1. Okay. Then for this bracket, we have x squared. Now we have x minus 1 squared, which is same thing as what? A minus B squared, right? A minus B squared. Now to expand this in algebra, it's going to be A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. Okay? So that is what it's going to be. So we are going to, whereby in this case, our A is X and our B is 1. So if we should substitute that into this, we are going to have plus X squared, right? Plus B squared, that is 1 squared, which is still 1. Minus 2AB, that is 2 times X times 1, which will still give us 2X. All right. We are getting there. Don't get tired, okay? Now we have expanded this. Then minus X times X will give us minus X squared. Minus X times minus 1 will give us plus X. Okay? So we are true. Recall this is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. So we have 2X minus 1 multiplied by what? X squared plus X squared will give us 2X squared. 2X squared minus X squared is still X squared. All right. Now, minus 2X plus X is same thing as X minus 2X, which is minus X plus 1. Okay? Is equal to 0. Now, in this case, we have two values for our... We, have, we are going to equate this to be equal to 0 and this to be equal to 0, right? So, we have 2X minus 1 is equal to 0. Or x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, for this side, we can say that 2x is equal to minus we cross become plus 1. So, to get the value of x, we divide by 2 and our x becomes half. That is the, let's call it our x3. Okay, that is our x3. Now, for this one, we have to use the um, quadratic equation formula here as well. So, we have that our x will be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, in this case, our a is equal to what? 1. That is coefficient of x squared. Our b is equal to minus 1, coefficient of x. And our c is equal to plus 1. So, if we should substitute this into what we have here, so we can have that our x is equal to, okay, let's do it here. Our x is equal to minus b, that is minus minus 1, that is plus 1, plus 1, okay? So that should be 1, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 1 squared, which is still 1, minus 4ac, that is 4 times 1, which is still 4 times another 1, which is still 4. All over 2a, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. Whew, we are getting there, all right? So that means our x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 over 2. So we have our x to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3 multiplied by minus 1, everything divided by 2. That means our x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3i, right, divided by 2. Since square root of minus 1 is what? I. Okay. So these are the values. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Remember that we have gotten our x3, right? Remaining x4 and x5. You know that you're supposed to have five values of x. So this is what we have. That x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3i divided by 2. Okay. Now. We have our x to be equal to 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 2. That should be our what? x4. Or then x5 is equal to what? 1 minus root 3i divided by 2. Now, let's um, prove this. Let's prove this. We are going to prove this because we have found the five values of our x. Only one of them is what? A real value, which is... 1 over 2. So let's substitute 1 over 2 into this equation to see if we can get the solution right, okay? So if we do that, we have 1 over 2 to the power of 6 is equal to what? 1 over 2 minus 1 to the power of 6. So this same thing as 1 to the power of 6 is 1. Mm, is 1. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. Is equal to half minus 1 is minus half, right? Minus half to the power of 6. 
So 1 over 64 is equal to this sentence as minus 1 over 2 to the power of 6, right? So we have 1 over 64 is equal to minus 1 to the power of 6. Because 6 is even, our 1 becomes positive as well. Now 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 1 over 64 is equal to 1 over 64. Thank you so much for watching and for your patience.